Well, I'm Dave Phillips, and I'm glad to again welcome you to the Germantown Church of Christ. Particularly this weekend, we're facing some great challenges, and we wanted to talk about it just openly, just say this is what we're dealing with, and hopefully you can help us as a congregation to, to work through it together. The coronavirus has impacted all of us, hasn't it? It's changed a lot of our plans. Certainly has changed plans for our church, our church family. We have many guests who are coming. We have many church members who are always in attendance. And there's something about the worship service that's exciting. It's thrilling. It's pleasing. It's edifying. And it praises our God. So we love that we can come together to worship. But with the coronavirus and with all of the changes that we're making, there are some things that we're going to be doing a little bit differently this weekend and probably in coming weeks. So we want to keep you informed by means of this uh, short broadcast. We even have a, uh, an update in our church bulletin that will explain more in depth what we're trying to do. We're trying not to overreact, but we are trying to be responsive. So we'll make these updates on a daily basis, maybe at the worst, a weekly basis to let you know what we're trying to do. For example, this weekend, March 13, 14, and 15, particularly on Sunday the 15th, we're going to modify our assembly a little bit. That is, our Bible classes will remain pretty much the same as were planned for this weekend. This is a special weekend. It's a ministry weekend. So all of our classes, teen through adults, had already been planning to come to the auditorium rather than to be compartmentalized in their various classrooms because we're looking at ministries that we as a congregation serve on a regular basis. And that is not just serve, but we fund. It comes out of our contribution. So we'll have two of those ministries here, or the leaders of those ministries, and they'll be explaining to us what they're doing in their ministry, and we're already supporting that, so it'll be a great time just to learn uh, what is being done uh, as we partner with those particular groups. That's during our Bible class at 9.15 on this Sunday morning. For our children, particularly our Graceland kids and our preschool program, they'll be going to their classes as uh, was regularly planned. Now on Sunday morning, our worship service will do things mostly the same. We'll still have our eight o'clock and our 1030 worship service. We'll be making changes on the way we partake of the Lord's Supper in particular. That will be the one area that you'll see a difference and maybe giving of our means. We'll be doing that uh, in a different way in that instead of taking the cups and the emblems, the, that is the cups, the wine and the fruit of the vine and the bread, instead of doing that, the regular way, we'll be using uh, some cups. And I brought, I brought something that I used to make fun of because I thought, boy, this is almost pedestrian when you put the Lord's Supper in something that looks like a uh, coffee creamer. Well, in fact, that's what this one is. However, on Sunday, we won't have coffee creamers. We'll have uh, the fruit of the vine and a, and a wafer, unleavened bread, that's on this, that's individually contained. So it's as sanitary as we can find it. We, don't, we can't think of a better way of doing it. I say I used to laugh at these until I went traveling overseas and found that I was in a situation where we didn't have uh, Welch's grape juice. So I thought, boy, I'm not going to make fun of this anymore because it is an opportune time to do this when you have a real need. So we'll have these available. We'll have men that will be passing these out with gloves on so everyone will take their own and then we'll have a way of disposing of these so that we won't have problems there either. We're trying to watch our personal hygiene. So that brings up the issue as we're doing that of what we're trying to do. We want to be careful. We normally would love to shake hands. We would love to give you a hug, but we're trying to refrain from doing that. Maybe just a, a gentle smile or, or a warm s a smile and a greeting will suffice for this weekend. If you're coming to worship, we're glad that you're able to. Now, if, if perchance you were in the high risk area, that is, that, that you, you might be in a situation where it might not be advisable for you to get into a group. Our elders are asking you, maybe you need to just think about uh, taking time and staying at home until this crisis passes. We want what is the very best for you. And of course, our Lord understands where you are and your intentions and what you want to do. It may be that you or even your children maybe have a cough or a respiratory problem. And they might want to think about staying home. You might want to keep them at home just this Sunday only so that we can uh, make sure that we protect others so that we don't spread any diseases or anything, any virus that might cause a problem to other people. 
So that's part of the problem. Other church activities will be left up to their ministry leaders. If you feel like this would be something that needs to be canceled, postponed, or changed in some way, that's what the ministry leader is supposed to do. But we're coming together to worship, at least this weekend, unless we hear something differently between now and Sunday. And if that would be the case, then you'd need to go online and see the update. We'll try to keep everyone informed, both by our website, which is gtcoc.org. There will be a, a splashed announcement on there as to what the latest uh, situation is. Or you might be receiving our email as a church member, or you might watch social media, particularly on our Facebook page, which is where this will be showing, maybe in other places. But just keep informed as to what is happening. We want to help, but we want to respond. We don't want to overreact, but we do want to respond, and we want to try to avoid problems as, as they come up. So if we can do that, we can work through this together. Now, someone is going to say, well, you're telling me not to come to services. Well, if you're sick, I would say that might be the best thing. If you're under the weather, that might be the best thing at this point. If you're at high risk, maybe you're not feeling well, maybe you are susceptible to those things, maybe at this point, at this point in time, it might be the best thing. Well, what can I do? Well, let me suggest something you might consider. We do live stream our services just for times like this, and maybe this is an opportune time for you to watch the services online. You say, where can I find that? If you go to our webpage, and that would be found on gtcoc.org, as soon as the page opens up, there is a place that shows for live streaming, or if you aren't tuning in at that particular time, you can look for the archive, that is, the services that have taken place in times past, and you can watch those services online. Uh, that's second best. I know there's nothing better than to worship with God's people, but, uh, but there are times when maybe it's, it's best for that to be the case. Now, this is not just listening to the sermon, though I'd like to have you listen to the sermon. But this is a time when you can experience the whole worship service, the singing, and the words will be on the screen, and you will hear the congregation sing. You may want to sing along with it. And then along that line, the prayers will be led, and you can pray with us and keep in tune with what's taking place. And I hope you'll get your Bible out and, and study the Bible with us. We'll be looking at James chapter 2 this Sunday morning and James chapter 5 this Sunday night. It'll be an opportune time for that to take place. We just want what's best for us as a congregation. We want to continue worshiping. We want to come together as God's people and do what is right. But we want you to know that these changes we're making, we're going to try them. And you might say, well, I have another suggestion. Great, give us those suggestions. We're gonna try something this Sunday in order to uh, respond to the great needs that our country is, is experiencing. We want to help people get better. We want to do and be a part of our country's task force in trying to to resolve the issue, we want to pray for people who are in positions of finding a resolution to the problem, but we also want to pray for those who are experiencing health issues. Our goal is to serve God together and worship Him together in a way that's meaningful and, and have us do it as a congregation. So I'm thankful for our elders, I'm thankful for our ministers, I'm thankful for every member of this congregation that is interested in serving other people. So. We hope to see you Sunday, and be patient with us as we learn and grow together. And if you can't join us on Sunday, we'll be praying for you, and we pray that you'll get better and join us online, live streaming or through the archives. We hope to see and hear from you very soon.